check out the noise this engine's making. We need to diagnose this today. <laughs> Now this engine right here has had just about everything changed on it from the previous owner who had some guy coming out and work on it. So uh, the guides have been changed. They were broken initially. Then he changed the tensioners, figured they're blowing out, causing this noise. And then they changed the phasers out. Nothing has fixed the noise. So we're going to go into the passenger side valve cover here and see what's going on. If we have to, we'll pull the front cover. As you can hear, it's a really loud noise. It should be very, very evident. And it sounds more like a grating or chain type noise, but he's been in there so many different times, how could he not put the chain on right? And we know the guys, the guys in the, the tensioner arm should be fine. So what's going on? Well, we're about to find out. All right, now I got the right hand valve cover off because the noise was right in this area right here. Selling either a tapping noise or a, a grating noise from the chain. Now, one thing I didn't mention is when I diagnosed this at the customer's house, um, I pulled the wheel dipstick and I had um, glitter on there. So there's definitely metal on metal action happening inside of here. So I checked all the rockers, okay? Pulled all the roller followers out, last adjusters look good. Cams look good, nothing extraordinary. Cam caps look good. I put a boroscope down inside of here. I see the uh, timing chain or the, the tone ring for the crankshaft sensor is chewed up on there. But that happens a lot with um, when the chains start flopping in there from broken guides. So the one other thing I noticed, and you may be able to see it right there. Uh, this tensioner is new on here, this belt tensioner. And a lot of times they start grinding right through when the bearing goes on here into the front cover. And you can see that happen down here. So I wonder if it ground through pretty far and we're pushing metal into the, the chain area there. So I'm not sure what's going on, but it's definitely a chain issue. Um, so we're gonna have to pull the front cover on here next and see what's going on. My concern is the guy's been in here a couple of times and he's found nothing so what i might do is stick a boroscope down in the cylinders over here one of these first two and just see what's going on but i'm thinking it's in the chain area here okay the front cover is off and i figured it i would not really find anything in here like i said the phasers are new the top guide here is new because it broke and the tensioner arm is the same it's original Tensioner is new, and same thing on this side. New guides, tensioner arm is original, and tensioners are the same. So they also reused the uh, chains on there. Now this one does have a little bit of wear on it. You can see right there where it was hitting the front cover originally when that, um, that guide broke. So I'll show you over here how it looks. I mean, it was beating up that front cover for a while here. You can see all the wear here on the top part from that guide. Look at that. It's pretty bad. And then also on the front side here, which is not part of our noise, you can see how the uh, tensioner pulley came off and slid right into the front cover and put a nice groove in it. Groovy, guys. Um, so there's a lot of damage to the front cover here. But that's all from before when the, um, the tensioner arm broke. This is all old damage, nothing to do with our current noise. Now, what I'm wondering, 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 and hoping, because we know it's like a chain or fluttering type noise up front here, there's no drivability complaints with the engine, just this noise, and it's really loud right here. This is a dormant phaser, okay? Brand new, but there's that marking on there. It shows it's a doorman. Oh boy. So I've seen these come apart 
um, at low mileage. So we're gonna see what's going on with this one right here. We're gonna pull just this one side off, the chains and the cam, and we're gonna see what's going on inside that phaser. It's gotta be inside the phaser, it has to be. So we're gonna pull apart and check it out. All right, the right hand cam is off the vehicle, intact with the phaser. So we're gonna do a little dissection here and see what's going on. Now for the heck of it, because they didn't change the VCT solenoids, I did take them off and made sure they were you know, actually passing oil through and they were not totally plugged up on. There's a little bit of metal in there from the uh, front cover uh, getting chewed up before. But let's look at this Dorman phaser on here. Now mine just is brand new, uh, but I'm wondering if there's an issue inside of here or it's not getting oil. Now everything up to this point just showing it should have oil coming to it and feeding to it. Um, but let's take it apart and see what happens here. So we'll pull the 15 off of here. That holds it on. Alright. And it looks fine. Uh, I don't like that though. You see that right there? It's all chewed up. It's all chewed up on there. Well, feed hole's fine. The end's fine. You can see through there. All right, this is not good. Either this one wasn't installed right or bad from the factory. Yeah, those pins and those three locating pins and they're all chewed up. Um, now, what's interesting on here is that it's still kind of together, though, because... This gap right here is centered over the R, and I think you could see it's centered over the L right here, this tiny mark right here. So let's tap this sucker off of here. Now we should be able to just pull this thing off. Um, there's nothing else holding on there. It's kind of a press fit. Oh, not liking this. Ish. This should not be doing this. Okay. Let's get a hammer and tap it off. If we can. Ooh. Okay, so uh, on this cam right here, our locating pin is all chewed up on here. You see how chewed up that is? It's moving around in there. And I don't know if this is install error or the dormant phaser or what. See this right here? Holy cow. See that? That's metal transfer. It was moving and it was knocking around here. <sighs> okay, well, that all makes sense. That's one heck of a noise. It was right there at the top by the phaser and it was knocking around in here. Move, move, move. And there's metal transfer going on here. All right, now what happened here is I was actually moving it around a little bit uh, to see if there's any looseness or knocking and a thing that flew off of my hand, which was bound to happen because these three locating pins right here, these retainer pins, uh, you know, their heads were sheared off on this side from that bolt being loose in there and it moving around like that. So it's bound to happen sooner or later. Either way, this phaser was junk front and back on here uh, because this, this locating notch right here is just wore out. It's wild out big time. So it's moving back and forth, back and forth. Metal transfer here, right here, and it's making that knocking noise. What you gotta realize is that that noise was pretty substantial, but this is a heavy part. And this is definitely a heavy part. So when the two come together, make that noise, and they're knocking on each other like that, it's just gonna resonate right on through and make it worse uh, sounding than it really is. But we pinpointed it, we found it, we found the exact cause on this one, and it's pretty gnarly, but we found it, and we're going to fix it and fix it right. There it is, all back together, nice and quiet, once again.
we're good to go at this point. Another job, well done.